Hello friends, there are some important one-liners, not one-liners, words which were uh, important in molecular biology. One is about gene library. So as the name says, it is the, in this gene library, there are some thousands of genes which are arranged in specific order according to their length. They are arranged in specific order according to their length and these genes are actually diagnosed identified with the rdna technology so that's what is called as gene labeling then along with this gene labeling the next one uh, you know new word is about linkage analysis so if you if this is the dna and if this dna has two genes think that this is one gene okay this is the second gene if these two genes are adjacent to each other then you have uh, these two genes are adjacent to each other and you have done meiosis and if you see during meiosis there will be division of the chromosome and during this division of the chromosome also you will find that these two genes are together right and these two genes which are together even after meiosis these are called as linkage genes linked genes okay so we have uh, these linked genes can be analyzed by a technique called as chromosome walking with the help of the technique with the help of chromosome walking we have identified these linkage genes in the human genome project right now as the word human genome project came here i would like to uh, deal with some important points about the most prestigious one of the best project which is human genome project so what are you going to see in this human genome project? See, this is very simple. Here, uh, this human genome project was started by U.S. the Department of Energy together with U.S. National Institute of Health has started this human genome project in 1990. James Watt Watson was the co-discoverer, who is the co-discoverer of structure of DNA was the head of this project. Later, uh, Francis Collis has succeeded him and he had led the project. And in this project, over, uh, in this project, uh, on this project, there are hundreds and thousands of scientists who have worked all over the world in 16 centers, mostly from USA, UK, France, Germany and Japan. And they have because it is not just in one country, not just in US, but in many countries have been participated in this human genome project. We have, uh, they have named this project as International Human Genome Sequencing Consortium. This is named as International Human Genome Sequencing Consortium. And this project is funded by Perkin Elmer Company. In this, if you see, uh, in this project, the whole human genome, the whole hu human genome is divided into many small fragments which are of 100 to 200 kilobytes length. And they are matched with each and every individual chromosome to look at ma matched sequences. And then once you have matched them, and again, these smaller areas are again, these 200, 100 to 200 kilobytes areas are again broken down, even small areas, and they are sequenced. Those sequences, uh, those which are overlapping uh, sequences, all those are separated. And almost the whole set of human DNA with almost 3 million base pairs, the whole human DNA with almost... 3 million base pairs has been sequenced and 10,000 genes have been sequenced with the help of this human genome project and a book of life has been written which contains almost 23 chapters each chapter for each human chromosome now with this human genome project pharmacogenomics has been emerged Pharmacogenomics is a branch of pharmacology where the drugs are administered based on their genetic 
constituent. So this new branch has been emerged due to the human genomic project. This linkage analysis is completed by 1994 and we said that these smaller base pairs are again divided into smaller and smaller uh, base pairs. So these smaller base pairs can be identified by a technique called as shotgun sequencing. Okay, in this shotgun sequencing method, we can break the DNA into even smaller part, smaller smaller pieces and they are sequenced. And by 1994, 1995, a human gene map of all the chromosomes was published. By December 1998, the whole fifth chromosome human fifth chromosome is completely sequenced and by 2000 the working draft of human DNA sequence has been announced by 2003 the complete project is completed and all the 23 chromosomes have been sequenced in this human genome project and after this human genome project the new project has been started in the 2003 by National Human Genome Research Institute which is called as ENCODE that is Encyclopedia for Small Nuclear Elements. So this is about the human genome sequencing. Thank you guys for watching my lecture. Thank you.